Welcome to Dark Comics. Today, we're diving back into the lesser-known corners of the Marvel Universe to uncover ten more intriguing characters you may not be familiar with. From skilled assassins to supernatural warriors, this lineup is sure to pique your interest in the rich tapestry of Marvel's character roster. So let's jump right in. Hit Monkey. The critter that would become Hit Monkey originally lived in the mountainous wilderness of Japan as part of a clan of other macaques. Members of this clan took in a fugitive assassin and nursed him back to health with herbal remedies and hot springs. However, one young monkey disagreed with this, fearing that someone would eventually come looking for the hitman. Once the nameless assassin regained his health, he began to hone his skills using practice dummies, and the young monkey studied him. The young monkey resorted to physical violence against the members of his clan over the continued presence of the assassin and was cast away because of this. Days into his exile, the young monkey spotted a group of soldiers in the woods who were looking for the assassin. He rushed to the clan to warn them, but did not make it in time and witnessed as the assassin and the other monkeys were slain. Seeking vengeance, the young monkey picked up the assassin's pistols and killed the soldiers, becoming Hit Monkey. Lavin Ski, descended from Etmo Ski of Okini Province on the planet Sakar, Lavin Ski followed in his family's tradition of serving in the Emperor's Imperial Guard, where he distinguished himself in several campaigns against the Wildabots. He eventually retired from military service and was hired as the bodyguard of Eloi Kaifi. He later died from blood loss after a bomb was dropped in the gladiatorial arena that he and the other gladiators fought in. Devil Slayer. After his second tour in Iraq, Sergeant Danny Silva had problems with his girlfriend, who eventually left him. Not being able to find a job, he went for a third tour, now not caring to return alive. After a soldier named Wall disappeared, Danny's team got a tip on his location, leading them into an ambush where all excluding Danny were killed. Danny later found Wall, strung up by his ankles with his throat cut and being fed upon by demons. He was rescued by Isaac Kaufman and his assistant Gabir, but Kaufman died from serious injuries, and Gabir escorted Danny to a cave where the Devil Slayer apparatus was hidden. Fool Killer Born with paralyzed legs and losing both his parents at a young age in different wars, Ross spent his youth being raised by his grandmother, who took him to see the Reverend Mike Pike. The Reverend managed to make Ross able to walk, and he became the Reverend's disciple. Ross became so captivated by his belief he could fix the world that he decided to become a costumed activist. However, when he went to show Pike his costume, he learned that the Reverend didn't practice what he preached, and in his anger, Ross strangled the Reverend to death. He placed Pike's body in a glass tube filled with formaldehyde and became the fool killer to rid the world of people he deemed fools. Phase. Faze worked for Cobalt Chemicals as security for Project First Strike and an industrial spy to steal Chimera from Morel Pharmaceuticals. Faze was on a Cobalt Chemical yacht when Black Cat snuck on board to obtain information on Chimera. The two battled and Black Cat was able to set off the ship's self-destruct. Faze attempted to flee on a helicopter, but Black Cat snuck aboard as the pilot and threw Faze into the ocean. Belatauser. Belatauser, also known as Balthazar, is a high-ranking demon lord, sometimes referred to as a dark god, who exercises authority over other, lesser demons. He was exiled from Earth at some point in his past. However, the cult of the Harvesters of Eyes offered human sacrifices to him and managed to summon him back to Earth. In his original story, Balthazar was last seen in human form, as an officer of the United States Air Force, but at the time it was unclear what happened to him. Warwolf. Vic Marcus was a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent working for the Howling Commandos Initiative, devised by Dum Dum Dugan. He was a squad leader overseeing Vampire by Night, Living Mummy, Zombie, Gorilla Man, and a clone of Frankenstein's monster named Frank, as mostly unwilling soldiers against the supernatural. Warwolf was involved in the Howling Commandos offensive against the Lords of Living Lightning in Afghanistan and then against Merlin in England. His lycanthropy is the result of an ancient Roman curse placed upon him, but unlike other lycanthropes, 
Warwolf is affected by the planet Mars, instead of by the moon, meaning he can transform in both the daytime and at night. Yoshio Kanabe Yoshio Kanabe was a Japanese ghost rider who was guided by a caretaker. After serving as a ghost rider for an unknown period of time, his caretaker died and Yoshio discovered Danny Ketch, another ghost rider standing over his body. Ketch claimed that the old man had committed suicide, but Yoshio did not believe him and the two entered into battle. Ketch easily defeated him and removed his spirit, seemingly leaving him insane. Yoshio was one of the former Ghost Riders who arrived to help Johnny Blaze stop the Angel Zodkiel from taking over heaven. He was also later seen residing in Mephisto's realm. Sarah. Sarah was the granddaughter of the original caretaker. Shortly after she was born, she was left in the care of the Sisters of the Holy Sepulchre, an order of nuns that trained to be the soldiers of God. When she was older, she decided it was time to learn of her family legacy. When Zadkiel took over heaven, Sarah helped the ghost riders Johnny Blaze and Danny Ketch in the fight against him after finding out that the deacon had murdered all of her sisters at the sacred convent of the Sisters of the Holy Sepulchre, and she felt a need for vengeance. Deacon When Johnny Blaze learned the truth of his origin, he went to the prison the deacon was held in. One of the prison guards let Deacon out of his cell and gave him two large knives and the stone serum, giving him super strength. He fought Ghost Rider and was winning until they entered the chapel and Blaze beat him with a Bible. Escaping from prison, he slaughtered the order of nuns that raised the caretaker, Sarah, and continued to act as an agent of Zadkiel. When the Ghost Riders went to heaven through the gate, guarded by the gun nuns, the deacon showed up and slaughtered the nuns. But before he could kill the last one, Sarah arrived. The two fought and Sarah slashed his back, severing his spine and crippling him. He was later seen in a hospital bed with the orb. At some point, Deacon died, and his soul was sent to hell, becoming a demon. When Blaze became the king of hell, Deacon was one of the demons who attempted to usurp the devil's throne from him. And that wraps up our exploration of these 10 lesser-known Marvel Comics characters. We hope you enjoyed learning about these unique individuals as much as we enjoyed sharing their stories with you. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Doc Comics for more deep dives into the vast world of comic book characters and lore. Don't forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay heroic, my friends.